Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Friday evening, Saturday morning for me, live stream, Naked and Famous Denim. All those words that I say every week, you guys already know what I say. So let's uh, let's do this. Another live stream here from Japan. I hope everybody had a nice week. Uh, you know, as, as always, I like to wind down my week with a, a, a fun hangout with all the, the Naked and Famous Denim world here uh, on Instagram Live. And if you're not subscribed to Naked and Famous Denim, on YouTube, you should definitely do that. I I, I see people leaving comments, and uh, I notice that many of the, the comment leavers are um, comment leavers, commenters. That's that's the right word. Many of the commenters are. Uh, I see the same people commenting, but I notice that they're not subscribed. So I think. Some people think they're subscribed because they get recommended the video, but you're not actually sub subscribed to the channel. Subscribe to the channel um, because uh, because it helps me out. It doesn't really help me out that much. Uh, I mean, I, we don't make money off our YouTube channel, but I like to see our numbers grow, and it helps me uh, stay motivated to, to know that we're. To me, it's just an indicator that we're on the right track. So if you're if you if you if you want to uh, boost my uh, boost my ego a little bit and uh, help me feel that we're, we're becoming more successful, then hit that subscribe button. And that's my little plea to you today to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey, look who it is. Oh, thank it, it's, it's Dan. <laughs> and, and you know what? You know, thank goodness for that. And uh, yeah, we're just, you know, pushing on, trying to be as safe and uh, offer as many remote virtual services as we possibly can. So, so what, what, is, what, is that, what does that look like right now? I mean, Going to Over the Rainbow, I think a lot of people, they expect this personal, not expect, it's, it's not even a matter of expecting, it's just what you get. Like, you know, your staff is there, they're, they're there to help you for, find the right pair of jeans, they fit you properly. How do we do that now, you know, virtually? Right. And, um, you know, what we do, and, you know, I think it's different from what a lot of people do is because we've been around for 46 years, we have a lot of our existing customers, we have a history of what they've bought in the store. So what we encourage people to do when they can't come into the store to try on jeans, which, you know, it, that's an important part of the experience. And, and we really miss that. Like, there's not, a, there's not a whole lot we could do to replace it. But what we've done is when people, first of all, you can call us seven days a week. So we always have somebody here from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Obviously, you can email us, but you can speak to somebody live. And if you've shopped here before, we can look up what you've bought in the past, what your preferences are, you know, some of the jeans or brands or fits that you've liked, and we can ask you the same questions that you would that we would ask you if you came into the store, and we can make recommendations, we can walk you through our website, we can do orders on our website over the phone with you, or we can walk you through that process, and we can either ship it to you, do curbside pickup, we do curbside exchanges if you're a local customer. So We've tried to make it as easy as possible just from a one-on-one. -on -one, like, we still have that one-on-one -on -one service. It's just not face-to-face -face in the store. You have to call us to do that. Let's talk about the nice guy jeans because this is something that we've been doing for quite a while. And I think a lot of people, maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, – we. I don't, know, I don't know how to say it, but, you know, it's just, I don't think it's, it's picked up as much steam as I think it deserves. Maybe we haven't talked about it enough. So that's why we're talking about it today, because the nice guy is a gene, a fit that is absolutely unique for you guys, exclusive for you guys, and uh, co-developed between us. So uh, let, let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, Dan, do you, want, do you want to start? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you mentioned, we've had a couple, we released a couple of these live video interview where we've talked about the history of the nice guy so i don't want to repeat too much of that but obviously we have a lot of, uh I'll, maybe we have a lot of new viewers on there. so i'll try to sort of keep it as short and sweet as possible so this is actually the fourth year uh that we've been doing the nice guy it's been around for four years the first one came out in 2017 and basically how it came about was at the time uh before naked famous expanded their uh, fit profile, uh, they had, Naked and Famous had three main fits. So we know about the weird guy, and we know about the super guy. And before 2017, there was another fit right in between called the skinny guy, for those who remember the skinny guy. So sometime around the end of 2016, Naked and Famous said, we're not going to make the skinny guy anymore. And in our store, 
when it's well, we, we still kind of make it, but it's really like we offer skinny guy, but I think it's available in like five or six fabrics. Like it's it's just there's a couple of like legacy customers that right they want it, so we keep making it. But like even they are starting to scale it back a little bit, you know. Uh, but uh, sorry. That was a, yeah. a little uh, side path, but yeah. it's true. We used to have a fit in between called the skinny guy. It was one of our original fits. It was a pencil leg jean. So, yeah. So, I mean, when that fit went away and we kind of asked you guys like what's replacing it and there wasn't really anything to replace it. We said, well, we feel, you know, because we're a denim store and, and, you know, the typical rule with like men's jeans, and it's, it's totally different with women's jeans. There's actually way more fits uh, that, we, that we have. But the general rule with most of our brands is we like to have at least two, ideally three fits per brand that are different, obviously, from, from each other. Because we want to be able to service as many men's body types as possible. We don't want everybody to be, not everybody wants to wear loose taper jeans or s super skinny jeans or just slim, slim jeans. So we want to have a, a really good spectrum of fits per brand. So when the skinny guy went, went away, we said, you know what, what can we do to replace it? And the response was, well, if you want to replace it, what would you want to see in a jean? And that's when the conversation started of creating what eventually became the nice guy jean. So right. we basically came up with the specs that we, that we wanted from the ideal in between weird guy super guy gene you guys came up with the name because you well uh, yeah we we, we can certainly go into that but like so you guys people. came up with an idea for a fit for a gene yes for i'm sure a lot of maybe some of our audience here maybe they don't know who you are but why are you qualified to make a call like that um, well, you know what, we just listen to customer feedback and our staff were actually very involved with the creation of, of the fit. So when we had the opportunity for the first time ever to make a fit as a retailer who just typically resell stuff, um, we asked our staff, okay, what's the ideal naked and famous gene that's missing? So we basically took all that feedback and we took customer feedback of people that wore the naked and famous gene put that all into the, the jeans. And after making a few samples and go back and forth, we decided on the first fabric, which is still in the collection today. It's an 11 ounce uh, stretch salvage jean. That was the original nice guy. We made it in one fabric. And once we got it, we started to sell it. It just took off and people loved it. And we sold out of the first ones. And there was just, we want more, we want more, we want more. So. And, and speaking of the man, let's take a look at that, that, that standee right next to you. Because if you've not seen the nice guy before, uh, if, if this is the first time you're hearing about it, um, you'll notice that the leather patch is actually a little bit different from our typical naked and famous denim tragic blonde patch. So let me, let me show you uh, just the comparison here. Um, so we're just looking at my little computer screen here. So that's our, that's our normal patch. Everybody knows this logo. It's the tragic blonde. And for our... Uh, for our nice guy jeans, we've got this great leather patch featuring the nicest guy of all of, of them all. Right? So we've got Joel here. And Joel I'm is actually, your father. I'm actually showing it as well on my end base. Oh, there we go. So we've got uh, a, a, a double action here. So if you go to the website, you'll, you'll see this, this, uh, uh, this standee. So for me, when we were when we were making this gene, you know, obviously the name it came from just how nice the people at Over the Rainbow are. I mean, the, the nice it, it was such a suitable name for this fit that was going to be exclusive for or Over the Rainbow. So that's really how how the name came to be. And as far as the leather patch was concerned, we wanted to make something special for you guys. And one thing that I always enjoy, and I talked about it a little bit earlier was when we would come to meet with you guys, we would come to your office and you guys had all these just awesome relics of your, of your history, all these photos, all of these old vintage denim adverts. And, you know, I've got it, I've got it on, I've, you know, I, I posted some of them on our blog post today and you can see, you know, 
Joel was very much a part of all the old advertising. You know, he, he certainly, um, you know, that, that, that mustache of his, and he, he's, he's certainly recognizable. If you, if you ever walk into Over the Rainbow, you're going to notice there's this big man with this sweet, deep voice welcoming you to the store. And, you know, he's here to help you with the jeans. And if you didn't know he was the owner, he's, he's you know, he's, he's the founder, he's the owner. And he's there on the floor to help you out. And it's just such a unique experience. And I, I, I certainly, uh, like, you know, we work with many, many retailers uh, all around the world. And owner operators are always my favorite kinds of folks to work with because, there's just so much history uh, with them. There's just like it's, it's also very personal. You know, they they they, they want to make this work because it's it's their baby, it's their child. You're you're also his his child. So, uh, but <laughs> so w we saw all of this great old advertising, and we saw this great standy, and I would see it all the time, and I just loved it. You know, I love all this old denim stuff. And uh, I knew we had to make a patch that that featured, you know, Joel uh, on the leather patch because, you know, just just just, just his presence is always, uh, you know, a special part of Over the Rainbow. And uh, you can see it there. It, it's based off of this this Super Joel uh, standing. And I don't I don't quite remember how that came to be. I, I just remember that it existed, and I would always see it. So. We, we, we implanted that image on the leather patch, and then we also put the Toronto skyline in the background. So, you know, you can see the CN Tower there. And uh, I, I definitely remember wanting to put Sky Dome in there, but, uh, and yes, I still call it Sky Dome because it is the Sky Dome, but uh, it, it didn't quite make it into the leather patch. But, uh, you know, I, so last week, again, we were talking about City Edition jeans, and, uh, and I'm like, we kind of already have a, a semi, semi city edition gene with uh, the nice guy because it, it does feature that Toronto skyline in the background there. All right, I'm just going to show show you quickly the the eight fit. So uh, this is the newest one. Obviously, you know about the summer sky sky salvage. So that's actually the one that I'm wearing right now as well. Oh yeah, great great look, great summer jean. Yeah. Can't really, I mean, that wasn't a great, a great shot, but um, I love this jean. I actually bought it. Um, well, not, well, not bought it, but I, I sized up in this just because I wanted to wear it a little bit looser. Um, but this one, this is kind of our second lightest weight weight jean, and this, and this just came out this season. Then we have a blast from spring 2020. This is the nine and a half ounce Island Blue stretch salvage. So we have two light stretch salvage jeans this is my personal favorite fabric just because it's a it's called the hyperflex stretch salvage 12 12 ounce it's nice and beefy this one came out in fall of 2020 what i what i love about this is that it's a stretch jean with salvage and it just fits really 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 great the fabric fits a little tighter in the leg just because of the because this is a rinse jean Mm -hmm. so compared to the other two, it might fit a little bit tighter on the legs, but it's still nice, nice and comfortable. So that's the Hyperflex. This is the second newest edition. I was wearing this yesterday. This is the eight ounce Whisper Denim. This feels, honestly, this feels like you're not even wearing anything. This is a great dark denim. That's great for the springtime. We wanted something to complement our two lights over there and somebody that maybe feels like naked and famous is too heavy which you know if you think it's too heavy, maybe it's not the brand, brand for you this is the og the original yeah, fabric gonna... here. still still around we've got a customer asking do you offer a 16 ounce or heavier in the nice guy so the heaviest one we have right now we do not offer one this will be the heaviest one it's the, the night shade so this is what i would call uh this is actually not the heaviest uh it's it's actually tied tied for the heaviest so we don't have a real real heavy heavy jean because most of our guys sort of like comfort a little bit better so mm -hmm. between this one and my personal black jean that naked and famous has ever made the black cobra stretch salvage this is a really really awesome fabric as soon as this came out um we had to make it it's just a great heavy 12 ounce beefy black jean and you can never uh you, you can have you can never go wrong with the black jean and then finally for the ultimate ultimate comfort we have our active motion this is again there's a lot of dark darks here but if you want 
super, super dark and super, super comfortable. It's as dark as the nightshade, but it's got a lot of stretch and comfort to it. So a nice variety of like lightweight, light, and definitely heavier indigo denim. I'm just trying to think. Is there a... I'm, I'm just trying to be like a Jerry Springer. Is there, is there a final thought you'd like to, to share with us? My final thought is I just want to thank everybody uh, in the denim universe for supporting Over the Rainbow, not only for the past 46 years, but uh, over this past uh, year of crazy challenges. Um, it's been great to know that despite the fact that my store, the store, not just my store, but the people that work here and it's a family business and everything. Um, the fact that we've been closed physically for almost eight months and we're still able to service people, sell online, and people are still gravitating towards us, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge pleasure and a huge, we're very grateful uh, for all of you for supporting us over these very, very crazy times. And thank you to people like Naked and Famous who let us come on these platforms and let us talk you know, about cool stuff about jeans and all that stuff. So um, that's my final thought. And, and just to those who are in, you know, uh, precarious health situations, just make sure to stay safe for now. We're almost at the finish line. And um, that's, aside from just shopping local, keeping spirits alive, the other thing I was going to say was just keep yourself safe. Keep yourself mentally and physically there, whatever you have to do. Your health, not just outside of the pandemic, is extremely, extremely important, and it's extremely important to us. We'll always be here for you to help you with genes, but that doesn't mean anything unless you take care of yourself. So that's my final thought. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. You stay safe, Bayzad. I don't know what's going on in Japan. Hopefully everyone's, you know, mask-wearing culture's been always been big there, so I feel like it's not a huge deal, but you stay safe too. Give my love to Risa. I miss her. I miss you guys. And hopefully I'll be able to see you guys in person very, very soon. Nice lid, Beza. Thank you very much. This is the brand new Japan Heritage Black. Uh, we just released this today on Tate and Yoko and Naked and Famous Denim NYC. I, you know what? Before this, I was wearing the uh, Japan Heritage Indigo uh, hat a lot. And uh, I left it in Montreal and it's been, it's been there for a while. I had the sample here for quite a while and uh, <clears throat> you know, it, it just, I'm, I'm not just trying, my hair's actually quite a mess today. So uh, it, it just worked out perfectly that we, we, we released these today because uh, I'm just trying to think fivefold wallet. Yeah, I can see that. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll revisit some, uh, uh, some more small leather good, type options we do have a uh, denim pouch wallet we're working on so that's that's coming soon i just saw the first sample and uh we're 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 gonna be going forward with that and i think the small denim pouch wallet will be a good addition for folks who want to enjoy you know the the new denim fabric options that we'll put out but maybe they don't need a full you know they don't need a whole jean right you know there's only so many jeans you can have before you're just if you're a collector that's one thing but you know for for a lot of us you know we 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 have the jeans that we wear and you want to and you know you want to be able to enjoy some of the new stuff because you see it and you like it you like denim but you know you may be spending all that money on a pair of jeans that you may may not wear might be a little much you know so you know things like caps or like small wallets you know these denim wallets i think will be fun because you know they're they're not going to be you know cost uh you know, prohibitive, and uh, you can enjoy that fabric. You can touch it, you can see it, you know, and you can use it. It's going to fade if you, you know, you use it as a wallet, obviously it's going to fade. Um, so those are some other things that we're going to put out down the line so that, you know, more people can enjoy some of our newer releases without necessarily having to buy, you know, a, a pair of jeans that they may or, or may not wear. Uh, banner jacket update. Yes, I have a slight update because Brandon just got, um, so finally we got, uh, some uh, production samples of the newest batch of, uh, of the banner of, of the banners. So Brandon is putting in the PO. Anyways, we're, we're, we're supposed to have a bunch of them very soon. I told him to order even more. Because, you know, we, we, we do sell the banners as banners themselves, but um, I said that I know a bunch of them are going to get used up for these banner jackets. So 
it's coming. It's coming. It's uh, we, we're made some progress. I mean, there's a lot of just slow down in general. Like I know I was supposed to announce Rick and Morty uh, already, but there was a production delay, and then that finally got sorted out. So I finally have hard like you know in warehouse date. So this coming week I will be making formal announcement, release schedule, everything for Rick and Morty. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's that's coming very, very soon. Thanks for addressing the car seat question. Well, that's why you guys tune in, because I address your questions here. So I want to show off a couple of new products uh, that we have planned for fall, winter 21, um, which is not that far away from now. It's, it's, it's coming pretty soon. So uh, I haven't done a, a fall, winter 21 highlight in a while. So uh, let's let's show off a little bit of that. It's uh, it's raining out here today. It's uh, it's a rainy day, so not not. And maybe it'll help for the light because sometimes the, the super bright light uh, uh, makes it a little bit difficult. Excuse any cat hair that you might see on these jeans. I live with cats, as you guys may know. So from time to time, there will be cat hair. So let's start off with the Crimson Sky Selvage. Now this is a pretty cool denim. This is Dark Indigo Warp, Red Weft. So what's really neat about it is you don't really see a lot of the red showing through the grain of the fabric. And the reason for that is because we do an over-dye on top of the fabric. So that fills in the grain. And you can tell it's over dyed because you can see on the, uh, on the Selvage ID here that even the white Selvage ID is covered with this you know, indigo uh, uh, dye on top. So... This is made based off of the Nightshade Stretch Selvage Construction. So a little bit of stretch, um, but it is still a, a semi-rigid fabric. Like it, it does hold its shape pretty well. You, don't, you know, it doesn't flop around so much. Um, so it, it's going to take a little bit of break in time, but not that much because it does contain 2% stretch. And then you've got that super dark indigo with the tonal thread. And you've got the red weft interior. So as you fade the jeans, the indigo layers will break away and you will start to see a little bit of that red showing through the front face of the fabric. But until then, it's going to be a pretty stealthy look. And what I also like about this denim is that because it is a tonal thread, as you fade the jean and it gets lighter and lighter, that tonal thread kind of becomes more contrasty because it does match the dark tone. But as soon as it becomes a lighter tone denim, that dark stitching becomes a, a contrast in contrast to the lighter uh, denim as it fades out. So this is the Crimson Sky Selvage. You can see here it's got the, uh, you know, the uh, non-reflective uh, uh, buttons here as well uh, in, the, in, in the black. So a nice dark toned denim all around that is the crimson sky you know uh iron snail in his latest video he he, he kind of described and i, I think it's a, a very good and fair description of uh, certain types of indigo denim that looks you know so saturated with indigo that it looks wet and this is certainly one of those uh types of fabrics you can see here it 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 just it looks it's got this like like you know Maybe it's is this is a shine or a sh to it, but uh, there's so much indigo in this fabric that it does look a little bit on the wet side. So you you can at some point, um, you know, we have to get these. Uh, uh, you know, we used to do those, uh, uh, you know, pre faded jeans, but maybe we can get that done uh, again and uh, we can show off just how these will fade. But um, then. As my my experience with the nightshade stretch of it is that it does fade quite nicely. I, I've shown off my pair of strong guys before, and uh, you can expect some really impressive fades from this denim as well. And speaking of jeans that are going to fade quite impressively, let's move on to the Okayama Spirit 5. So this is the latest edition, Okayama Spirit. So just like the Okayama Spirit 4, this is a samphorized denim. But if you... If you didn't know that, you wouldn't know that because it certainly looks unsamphorized. Look how slubby this denim looks. I mean, you don't get that kind of texture typically from a samphorized denim. You know, here it is compared to a, you know, a typical, you know, this is not a particularly, there's no, there's no like major slub here at all, but uh, you can see just how textured that denim is compared to a, you know, a, a standard denim. Um, 
lot of lot of character in this fabric as well. So what we have is a dark indigo base with a black weft. And, you know, the benefits of having that dark weft is that when you get fading on the warp, it contrasts very nicely with the weft. And you can see that the black shows through the grain of the fabric here. You can see it there. Uh, you know, and that's you know, in contrast to something like this, where you have a white weft. So you can see the white shows through. Here, black shows through. Here, nothing shows through because, uh, you know, you don't see any of that red coming through because the over dye, I mean, very... If you can see really, really closely, maybe I need a macro shot of that. But uh, I, I thought I saw, you can barely see red, barely see it. But uh, that's because the over dye fills in all those gaps. And, uh, you know, you don't see any of the grain um, showing through. So this is like a really, really, you know, deeply saturated indigo denim. This is your classic indigo by white. Um, and then this is your indigo by black with big slub. So not only are you going to get a nice contrast from the indigo to the black, you also get a great amount of contrast because the slub yarns, uh, you know, the thicker parts are going to fade at different rates than the skinnier parts. So you're going to get so much character in this denim. Uh, I'm very, very excited for this one to come out. This is the Okayama Spirit 5. Uh, can't see it. Yeah, there you go. The red line selvage ID. You've got those same dark, you know, uh, mill spec uh, non-reflective buttons here. Um, these are all YKK, all YKK hardware, all made in the USA, by the way. So, uh, you know, very, very high quality hardware here as well with that black weft interior. Indigo by black. Okay, I'm spared five. Fall, winter, 22. That's, uh, that's what you can expect there. And let's just take a better look at the selvage ID before we go to the next one. And uh, sorry, a little bit of cat hair. See, it's just the, it's the way the way things go. Um, so yeah, there you have it. W uh, what did you miss? Um, well, earlier in the live stream, we had a uh, uh, a guest, Dan uh, Dan Carmen, Daniel Carmen from Over the Rainbow uh, in Toronto. Uh, and then now we're uh, we, we talked a little bit about uh, this hat, uh, Japan Heritage uh, cap. We uh, I showed off my uh, my faded solid black selvages. Um, so I washed these for the first time. Now we're doing some previews of Fall Winter 22. Uh, okay, I'm spirit. Also, we'll have this super thick buffalo leather patch. You can see just how thick that is, and uh, four way um, sewing on the thick patches um, because these are. I mean, nobody's really, you know, you, you got to put them, you got to sew them down four ways. Um, otherwise, they, they, they come off a little bit easier. So uh, some people complain about that. If you don't like it, get your seam cutter, your seam ripper, and, and open it up from the sides, and uh, you'll, you'll be okay. But uh, you may want to reinforce um, across here. But you can see, man, it's, it's, it's just a lot of leather. So you got you to gotta, you gotta be conscious of that, and that's why we sew it down four ways um my okayama spirit four jacket is amazing will the five come in in a jacket too yes the okayama spirit five is coming in a denim jacket all right i'm going to show you guys one more preview for spring summer sorry fall winter 21 um and that is the asanoha kimono print salvage so Classic 12 and a half ounce denim look from the outside, you know, rigid, raw, dark indigo. What looks to be a white weft. No, no, no. What we have is a coated, printed kimono print weft on the inside. So this is not uh, woven in. This is actually a print. It doesn't wash out, so it's, it's a permanent print. And it's, uh, you can see it's it's actually an in an indigo print on a white weft denim, which is why you see the white weft uh, here. So when these jeans, it'll fade to white, but you'll have this dark indigo interior with this great kimono print on the inside. So I like to call these cuff flippers. You know, these are going to look really nice um, because you get that really nice pattern on the inside. And, you know, pairing that up with a pair of boots or sneakers are going to look really cool. So uh, we actually have a matching shirt um, coming uh, shirt, kimono shirt, and pocket tee coming in the fall to match these. So if you want to go, you know, completely matchy-matchy, you can do that as well. So you've got this great uh, traditional Japanese kimono uh, pattern. This is called the Asanoha pattern. It's uh, meant to 
be a hemp leaf. So uh, uh, I guess it, 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 it's got a lot of different meanings. I mean, if you go online and you, and you look up the meanings of these prints, I mean, there's, there's, it's kind of it's, it's weird how one print has so many different meanings. Um, but uh, nevertheless, you see this all over Japan, um, you know, whether it's in like screen doors or in, in like product packaging or, you know, kimonos, um, you see this pattern everywhere. So uh, you, we thought it was a nice, uh, a nice choice. We've done a, a kimono print uh, denim before. Uh, so this is just a, a new edition of it. Amazing. Will this come in a jacket? Um, no plans to do this one in a jacket. Um, so un unless I do a small run, but uh, as of right now, no plans to do this one in a jacket. So uh, if we take a look at some of the other details of the jean, you can see, again, very classic looking uh, denim, 12 and a half ounce weight, 100% cotton. So it feels like your, 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 your standard classic pair of raw jeans. So if you want something that, you know, some you know this might be a lot for some people some people prefer a, a classic denim look so you go with something like this but you know if you want that classic denim look with just a little bit of something um we've got uh we've got the kimono print on the inside here for you so you know a, a great little detail to show off if you want to show off if you don't want to show off you don't have to cup it or you do just a, a little bit of cup so it's a little bit of a tease there but uh it's a detail that only you're going to know about and it, and you know you can show it off if you decide to show it off i i love you know subtle details like that where you know, sometimes it's just fun if you know about it. You know, not not everybody has to know about uh, everything. Um, you know, that uh, it, it, not not every detail has to be shown so much. And you know, if you decide to show it, then you can show it. Tommy here, James Dan, live chat for the launch next week. I was gonna suggest that. So uh, yeah, I was I was gonna reach out to you basically right after this and say, hey, do you want to do a live stream next week? Because we have a, a special collaboration item we've done with the good people there at James Dant. And uh, I think it would be a great uh, opportunity to do a co-live stream, the next co-live stream with, uh, with Tommy here. So uh, are you down? Shall we do that? Is, that? is that what everybody wants to see? I hope so, because uh, I think that's what, it's not I think is going to happen. Uh, it's going to happen. Isn't that right, Tommy? We're going to make it happen. So um, a lot of high fives. Okay, it's happening. It's, it's confirmed right here, live with you guys. Um, Japanese baseball gene. Yeah, sports licensing. I wonder. I, I wonder. You, I, you know, I, I have. Uh, I, I know some people who do sports licensing. Um, yeah, I, I wonder. I don't. I don't know how. I, I don't know how it works. Um, but that could be cool. Doing sports teams, genes, and stuff like that. But the problem is, like, which, like, you can just do a couple of teams, right? I don't know. Do like, do we have to do the all of? If we, like, if we did baseball, say, say we got the the, the you know the agreement to, with MLB, do we have to do every team? That would be a little much. Be a little much. Anyway, we, that's just one of those things that we can, you know, maybe down the line it'll happen. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to see. And that concludes the Naked and Famous Denim live stream this week. Thanks for joining us for another live stream we'll have this up on the youtube channel the next uh little while so in case you missed it you want to recap everything uh you can see it there don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm gonna keep asking you guys to do that and uh, i will see you guys again in the next video have a great weekend everybody and uh stay safe out there bye everyone